What's up guys, this is Brixelite signing in and welcome to a new series. Well, technically not a new series because we've been we played the first three of these games and Ratchet Gladiator slash Deadlocked is in is in line with the next series. So a word of warning, when I do beat this game, we are not moving on to Secret Agent Clank, nor will I be moving on to um what the fuck's that one called? Size Matters. They are PSP games. I know Size Matters is available on the PS2, but I'm not going to be buying it, considering it's not a canon story, kind of. And also, I want to keep it for the PSP, so I'm actually not wasting my money on buying a game that I'm not really going to be playing that often. Unless I'm a PSP back, but still, can't record the PSP, so that's a different matter entirely. But anyway, we are now here, Ratchet Gladiator, after this game is beaten. We are moving on to a new game, unless... When I put into the little random dude, that's the PS3 games come in played, then that's a different matter completely. But anyway, let us start the show. I was going to originally um, use my old save file to play the game or to record the game because I thought I was near the end, but I've actually got a few more things to do in that. I should have got myself prepared for it before recording this because I wanted to do this one to get it all on. But either way, now, I could do this, but I want to go to cont Contestant. I do have the artist difficulty, but I don't think it's going to pick up from all my old stuff, considering I'm not using the same save file. So that's that's a shame. But this does pick up from where we finished off in number three quite nicely. So that's good to know. Captain Starshield is now dead. It's a shame. Eleven hours ago. That's where they find out about Captain Starshield, don't they not? There we go, look, all connected together again. Incoming call from the mayor of Metropolis. Whoops, I forgot to put subtitles on. <clears throat> New mayor of Metropolis. Oh. You mean Right. Uh, just a sec. Uh, greetings, Mayor. I... No, no, no. Um, well, long time no see. Uh, no. Uh, so, Metropolis still in one piece, huh? <laughs> uh, greetings, Captain. I see you're taking good care of my old ship. Well, she need a lot of tuning up, but I've kept her running. <laughs> of course. <laughs> anyway, I'm afraid I bring bad news. As you know, Captain Starshield disappeared over a month ago. I've just been informed that he's been killed. Oh my gosh. No. What happened? Apparently, he was involved with some kind of illegal combat sport. Something called Dread Zone. We believe it was being run by this man. Gleeman Bob. See, why does not call this game Dread Zone? Ratchet Dread Zone instead of Deadlocked. From within the Shadow Sector. The Shadow Sector? It's a lawless region of space on the fringe of the galaxy. Many other heroes have disappeared recently, and we fear that they might have met with the same fate. Ratchet, I just wanted to warn you before. Here we go. Identified craft approaching. Uh oh. Here we go. You with the long backs, known as Ratchet. Um, I don't suppose you guys are here to fix the starboard engine, huh? Great. Let's start this thing off properly, then, shall we? Same things apply as always. We're going to be doing a world a, world a day. There's not that many levels in this game. We will be going backwards and forwards as well, but there's quite a lot to do in this game. I will be doing all the challenges in this one as well, because I kind of need to to continue playing the game. So, oh well, we have to do world by world and bit by bit. So we're going to be playing it a little bit differently from last time, considering it is a shorter game to play. It's more like a mission based. Some work out of them first. Yeah, true. It's horrible. I was just like that. Horrible. Hello, hello in there. Can you hear me? 
You've been unconscious for hours. You're probably a little disoriented. Uh, how many fingers am I holding up? Whoops. Uh, looks like we've got a feedback loop in the visual matrix processor. Hold still a second. How's that? Okay, now to activate your speech function. Me out of this thing, you blarg headed frack monkey! I can barely breathe and my tail feels like it's shoved right up my... Oh, yeah. I, there seems to be a problem with the speech circuitry. I, 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 I'll, I'll take a look at it later. Now hold still. Let's just see if I wired that teleportation circuitry. Oh, well, there you go. Got teleported from somewhere else. The new armor you're wearing is standard issue for new contestants. Contestants? We will see, like how... Okay. All right, we what controls do we have? Your battle suits targeting matrix. First, look Can we just like stop you right there for a few seconds? Let's get them subbies on. There we go. Good old good as new now, right? Okay, that's right. Okay. I saw like I've got two weapons already. Is it up to go up to look up? Good. Your movement circuit should be in working order now. Try getting to the top of that ledge. I like how they're telling me how to use the controls I use for freaking number three. I am transmitting a digital mini map representation of the area. Okay. Can you see it? I can. The mini map will show you the positions of nearby enemies. Well, I'm reading three more hollow targets in your vicinity. Come on, dude. Why are you getting stuck on a blue light? Why am I doing backflips? I've mean, just never been able to do backflips before. Well, not to get up somewhere anyway. That's new. Can I do a backflip to go forward? That would have been freaking sweet. See, I don't, I don't, I'm not really... I like this game, but I've not played it in a very long time, so it probably will be a little bit of a while for me to play this. And now, some other things need to be changed now. Skill points, is that what I need? No, I do not. Uh, skins? No, that's not the one I want. Cheats, that's the one I want. Fuck, can't do any of them. Bastard. I want the freaking helmet off. I don't like wearing it. Oh well, nothing I can do about that now. Gotta continue when playing the game. Right. First mission's not gonna be that hard to do either way. Greetings, hero, and welcome to Dread Zone. Rest assured, you are now far beyond the reach of hope. There will be no rescues, no pardons, no possibility of escape. But there is. You are now a contestant on the greatest television program the galaxy has ever known. A celebrity gladiator battling for the pleasure of a billion screaming fans across the shadow sector and beyond. Chances are you'll be dead by tomorrow. But those of you who play the game with skill and strategy will earn a chance to win your freedom. So, good luck, hero. We'll be watching you. Evil laugh is evil. Not much is obvious. All right then, bitches. I have figured out a way to get information to you without Vox knowing. Pay attention to secret messages at the bottom of your screen. Well, they're not going to be really freaking the secrets of, are they? Really? As you destroy enemies, you gain experience. Okay, I did put subtitles on, right? So why the fuck am I not reading them when Ratchet is speaking? Right about now. Yes, I know about this, but this game's more of my my kind of style for Ratchet and Clank, though. Like, it, it does really fit well for this. I don't need that, though, because I know using that's going to be on a magma cannon, but we're going to play the game like I did last time. All right, when it goes to level one, we're switching over to other weaponry. Because it goes to level ten in this game, not level five. Should you stray into any restricted area, the collar will administer an extremely painful shock. Observe. I hate this job. Dead. Should a contestant Rip. become uncooperative or worse, boring, his or her collar can be detonated at any time with the push of a button. Oof. Rip. Rip. Nothing to lose your head over. <laughs> right? What a dick. Congratulations, Ratchet. You made it through the qualification course. Okay, what's this one? Ammo? Yeah, it's ammo. Okay. See, in this one helps a lot more freaking vigilant. Or whatever, you know you know what I mean. It's more a lot lot more common to come across. Hell of a lot more hell of a lot more better to come across. But either way. 
It's a lot of things different from the last one, but nothing I can can't regret or just ditch. Wow, this place is crazy. I've always wondered what it'd be like to be a professional gladiator. I mean, these guys have the life, the fame, the money, the babes. Try not to forget that we are being held prisoner by a criminal organization. This is no time for fantasizing. He's very he's very humanoid for a metal robot. Welcome, hero, to your new Yeah, 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 sure. Could buy obliterate already, huh? Alright, I'll buy that soon. Luxury containment suite is equipped with everything you will need as a contestant on Dread Zone. Will it now? Please make yourself comfortable. So when we land in the first world, that's when I'll be le ending this video. I know it's gonna be a short one today, but it's just trying to try and get ourselves all linked into the into the video. I have marked his location on your map. I think Yeah, I know he's got something to show me. Courtney Gears. God's sake. These are the voices from the original one. Won't be needing them anymore. Don't worry, boss. You won't end up like that last guy. I hope not. I still have nightmares about it. You're a robot. Oh, suck it up, Green. Once you win a few battles, we can afford to. Just <laughs> see his shoulder broken, shut up, make it fit. I want to juice them up now. Can we juice them up now? Is any of them free? The Royal Shield Link. I thought I got that for free anyway. Okay, I see. So I can make them brown if I wanted to, but I don't. There's some nice freaking armor in them later on, though. Go on, battle boys! Where the fuck is your friend? Oh, he's just chilling out over there, is he? Alright. You know, yeah, I... Why are they talking about each other now? They shouldn't know each other, nice do they? Digs. Um, digs? I mean, what's all the hardware for? Ah, they call this the mission control room. Each contestant is assigned a mission engineer to monitor their progress. Right. So, what's his face? Figured he'd save a few bolts and make you do it. Uh, hem. All right, fresh meat. Enough chit chat. You're next up in the battle dome after Mobius, man. And from the way he's fighting, it won't be much longer. Now move it. Oh, okay. Ratchet. I, will assist I don't think it go to the first world just yet. I think it's all inside internally first. Obviously don't know who they're messing with. Well, you've killed Captain Quark, what, three times now? You fight a giant furball, a giant feck off robot that wanted to explode everything to bits, and then another robot that wanted to turn everything into other robots. So I think that one over there takes me to interplanet ones, or this one takes me into planet ones. No, this one takes the battle. Though. Okay. So this, the other one then takes it into planet, into planet stuff. I think. Or is it inside? Greetings, hero or heroine. We okay. thank you for choosing Pox Airways for your traveling needs. We do hope you have a pleasant flight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy our in-flight entertainment, courtesy of the Pox Network. It makes you feel like he's more ratchet-based, this, but it's really, really not. Something you should know. I'm not a real tyrannoid. <laughs> Will you lose your lunch if you have to watch one more reality dating show? Is your blog's gone wild video scratched from over you? <laughs> then it's time to turn that dial to something a little more dangerous. Time for some real action. It's time to blow up! <laughs> This game just wants to put all the swear words out there that can by keeping it a child's game as well. It's very innuendous. So we'll do the battle dome area, then we'll give it then we'll give it up for today. Move on to other nights or other stuff later on. And shiz. They save the galaxy three times over, but how long can they survive in the zone? Right here. Oh, box. oh, and that is it for Mobius Man, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Eviscerator's fourth victim already this season. Yeah, he's gonna be my victim, bitch. Next up, we have, uh, let me see here, Ratchet. 
Yeah, I never heard of him. Well, he's probably just intermission material, folks, but don't worry. We have Grey Thunder and Hydro Girl coming up later, so stay tuned to Dread Zone. Well, here we go. Here he is. <laughs> he's a little guy, isn't he? Well, don't bother getting up for drinks, folks. This guy won't last two rounds. We'll see. He knows what he's doing, boys. This guy knows what he's up to. He knows how to fire some weaponry. And these freaking guns you start off with are really this fucking good. Is it. Let's introduce our first contestant. He's a Lombax. He's Here we go. I'll let um, Dallas carry on talking while I kick Let's his freaking robots to furry asses. My team Darkstar. Oh, wait, yeah, because they have some freaking bullshit story for me, don't they? That's like, oh, no, we need to make him be hated. But then they find out, blah, blah. I see that now looks like an up button, but it's true what it says. Yeah, well. I don't know how high my health can go in this game. I know in number three it was 100 max, but it might be able to go 200, but... I know the max level for weapons in this one is, a, is 100 so far. That's the highest I've seen. Well, not 100, 99 at least. So, but I don't know if we can go up to 1,000 afterwards when you, if you get an ultra one. I'm really not... Why would I be low on ammunition? I've got a fucking magma cannon. If I can rip people to shreds too. Come on, guys. Throw some freaking hard challenges out there for me, at least. Although this is not as hard as number three. Number three I struggled too much on, but this one, I can, uh, this one I'm okay with. Plus, I know more about this one. I finished this, like, what, three times now, I think? All the rest I finished, like, at least once or twice. I'll finish number one twice. I have finished number two twice. Finished number three once, as you just watched me saw, or watched me do, and this is my third, third playthrough of this. Fourth playthrough of this, sorry. I apologize. So I remember beating the game twice before. The Protector 2000 bolts. I don't know what that was for. Was it saving my robots or something? From dead damage? Or for some blam blam? I don't know. I need some, um... Oh, very nice. Okay, robots, can you protect me, please? Or do we need to buy shield leak? I know, there's freaking people trying to attack me as well. Might as well wait until they're all fucking dead. Right. I can do it now. These guys aren't much of a problem. Oh, no, no, never mind, they are. Great. At least I'm only losing one freaking health per shot, though. Which is, oh, compared to what I was losing in number three, was just bollocks. So I like losing the less health here. Give me my shit, boy. There we go. So what I'd like to see... Are these the same platforms that other people are playing with? Because if they are, then why is the ratchet or the, the freaking thing I'm using? The wrench. My scanners show an extremely deadly 70 millimeter stalker turret ahead of you. You need to get behind cover immediately. The shields on that turret are impenetrable. You will have to use an EMP to take Got it. Down. I'm listening. I didn't even need to use you. I've got no bullets. This is a problem. I now have bullets again. It's okay. It's all right. Why is my magma cannon not firing? There we go. There we go. Eagle eye. No idea what that was for. But still. Wow, I've got three skill points in that. I need five, though, for my freaking... No helmet. I think I need ten for the gangster stuff, which is like hold one sideways and hold one forward. And they're the only ones I'm using. Fuck the rest. Let's keep this quick, Box. Oh, well, far be it for me to keep the superstar exterminator from his busy social schedule. I just have one question for you. Okay, shoot. Would you like to buy an Ace Hard Light video game? How about an Ace Hard Light lunchbox? Action figures, movie rights, collectible trading cards? Ace Hard Light is the perfectly manufactured celebrity, straight from the presses of the entire Box Media Empire. So tell me, why is it that I can't give this stuff away? Well, uh... Don't answer that. Let me take a wild guess. It's because my fans can't stand Ace Hard Light! He's a pompous... Jesus. So, what are you saying exactly? Sip it, Wonder Boy. The little billies and Susies of the world are spending a trillion votes a day on worthless swag, and I'm completely cut out of the market. Either you start selling this junk, or I'll find someone who will. Now get out of my sight! 
That's all he's in this for. Just for money, money, money. Killing other people off just to try and get money, money, money. I'm not trying to find the big out of out of it. And then Ratchet comes along and uh, things get a bit fucked up in the head, don't they? Ratchet, you need... Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. So this takes me to the new planet, you see. This is the interplanetary transport. It will take you to Dread Zone battle courses on other planets. Welcome to the Quasar The Omega Twins are dead. Plasma Ray is station. dead. Quasar Flare is dead. Quantination X is dead. And Captain Starshield is dead. Agent Zero is okay. And Kid Nova is also okay. We'll see if we can catch up to those guys up there eventually and see what we can do. But either way... We're going to be moving on to the real big boys now, so we cannot continue anymore today. So, I am going to leave that there for today with this video of Ratchet Gladiator. And we shall return next week with the next mission or the next world mission kind of thing. But, so far, where the fuck are my cheeks? Oh, is it in skins for Hatless? No, okay, I can, I can play with Clank if I want to. But I'm not gonna. I want that one. But anyway, I am going to leave that there for today with this video of Ratchet Gladiator. And I am going to leave you with Truth Hurts by Bought for My Valentine. Enjoy. Truth hurts and I'm in pain. Truth hurts.